let's get started. Uh, we're going to talk about Overwatch real quick here. Uh, today is actually uh, Summer Games starts. Summer Games 2 starts today. I was going to upload the full podcast today and then upload the Overwatch segment tomorrow. But since Summer Games starts today, I figured it would be a better time to upload it now. So, um, well, not right now, obviously. When I'm done filming here, I will, I'm will. i going to upload that like right away. I'm going to up uh, edit episode, what is it, 10 of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels to the Roses. So, that'll be fun. Um, so, a little bit about Summer Games. Uh, the information we know so far and going into today... Uh, we're obviously getting a lot of new skins. Uh, we already know that there's going to be a new Mercy skin. And actually, I was just watching a video saying that it might have got leaked from a China website. Uh, if that is the Mercy skin, then I would say that it looks alright. It's not my favorite. Uh, I think it's a good one. But I'll have to look at it closely, too. I didn't get a close look at it. And then... Uh, just today, or well, I don't know if it was today, it was recently, at least, uh, it might have been today, Jeff Kaplan teased that we're also getting a new Sombra skin, which is awesome, because Sombra's one of my favorite characters, not very good with her yet, but I'm working on it, but just as a character, she's one of my favorite characters, um, but, other than that, the big highlight, or the big, um, how should I say it, uh, appeal, besides the skins and all the you know, extra stuff that we get for Summer Games is Lucio Ball. And one of the most interesting things about this event is that we're actually getting, we're supposed to be getting a Lucio Ball, like, competitive mode today. And apparently, like, at the end of the season or whatever, the top 500 players worldwide, I would assume that means on their respective console or... Oh, God, excuse me. Platform. Um, they get like an exclusive uh, spray for Lucio. I, I, at least I think it's for Lucio. Which is pretty cool. I'm glad they didn't like make it a skin or something because then people would have such an outcry eventually that they would just have to give it away anyway. So I think that was a good idea. That's that's neat. And it's good for people who really like Lucio Ball. They're changing a lot of things or some things with it too. I think that... Uh, I didn't look into this too hard, but I think they said something like Oh, you're the the ultimate's different. It works differently now because I think last year it like sent the ball f- flying. I can't remember. It's a whole year ago now. Um, but they uh, I think it you also can't like boop the ball or something. I don't know. We'll find out later today. I don't remember honestly. It's uh all that stuff. But then also uh one last tidbit on Overwatch here is that uh. This was actually, I'm a little late to the party on this one, but supposedly, Junk, or not even supposedly, they pretty much confirmed, um, Junkrat and Roadhog are both getting buffs, and I have to say um, two, two things. I don't play Junkrat often. I think he desperately needed it. He's such a niche pick right now in the competitive uh, meta. He, I'm trying to think like when I would use Junkrat. He's got he's got all that burst damage, but his ulti just sucks. You know, it does. You can you can get a decent amount of people if you get it in the right spot, but it's low on health, which is one of the things they said they were gonna probably increase is the health of the his his rip tire, and then also um the speed I think because it's a, it is a little slow. It's pretty easy to just shoot and get rid of it. Um. So that's cool. Junkrat's getting some buffs for people who really like Junkrat. He's fun to play as. I just I don't generally. Um, but somebody I do play as a lot, or at least used to, uh, Roadhog. His buffs sound really good. I think that they're going to be really good for him going into the meta, considering that Roadhog is still going to keep his consistent speed or whatever. Um, that because he got like a well he didn't get a walking speed boost but a speed boost in the sense that he can shoot faster now and he has five bullets per clip five shots per clip um that update was a long time ago but they're keeping that uh, whoop, hit the table keeping that obviously and he's also getting a 50 percent damage resistance 
when using his healing ability. I can't think of the name of it. When he drinks his jar of whatever the fuck is in there. Um, which is awesome too. Cause I used to I used to be a beast with Roadhog and I loved him. I thought I thought the update to ha- get rid of like his just he just hooks somebody and kills them like a DPS character or something was a good idea because he is a tank, but I think they went a little bit too far and I'm glad to see that they're fixing it. But Blizzard's always on top of Overwatch right now. I mean they really the only that was the only like update that I really looked at it and I was like, what are they gonna do to this character? In this case it was Roadhog, you know. For the most part though, when they nerf and buff characters, I'm like, oh that makes sense. Or rather, this the Roadhog thing made sense, but like I said, they just took it too far. It was just one of those things and they they admitted it too. They admitted that they thought they took it too far, so um but yeah, that's all I got on Overwatch for today. <laughs>